details over the radio. One of the men from town just died from the water poisoning. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, we all were. He was military. And he asked us to give away all of his possessions. The last thing we have left is this card. I don't know what its purpose is. That's yeah, a military key card. I mean, if it's properly authorized, it could open any military electronic lock. Well then, here, you take it. Maybe it'll help you. Besides, we wouldn't even know what to look for. Yeah, thanks, Jazir. So this whole time, the kid's been waiting on a present? Christ. Sad, I know. But the sooner he gets used to being sad, the better. Hey, Jazir, what's this about a weapons collection? Ah, oh, yes. It's something I've wanted to take care of for a while now. There was this man, Adam, who lived in town. A bit eccentric. But everyone liked him, especially when he got drunk. Well, he had a huge collection of weapons, famous for it. And he was a good shot with his precious revolvers. But then, when he started getting older, he got paranoid that someone was going to steal them. And the rumor is, when he died, his house turned up completely empty. No weapons anywhere. Okay, but how does this saber fit into the picture? Ah, Adam was crafty. Years ago, he got hold of my grandfather's saber, and nothing I could do would persuade him to give it back. I just hope if he hid his other weapons, that saber is among them. Hey kid, I gotta drop by the post office so I could uh, check and see if your package is there. Do you know what's inside? A present? From mommy? She wrote and said she was sending me a surprise present. She's coming back after I get it too. And she can play with me again. Hello.
Olga told you it was Crane. Are you sure? He looks weird. He always looks weird. Crane, we did it! We flew! But not with the jetpack. But we found a plane instead. Almost in good condition. Had to make a few adjustments to it. And the gasket broke. All the oil leaked out. The engine seized up. We had to jump out. But Mr. Dahl, our boss... Whoosh! He flew all the way to the west. You have to find him, Crane. But you two actually care about someone else. Oh, you wound us, Mr. Crane. Also, Mr. Dahl is a billionaire. He'll make us rich. All right. How am I supposed to find him? Simple. Mr. Dahl has a transmitter in his backpack. That's our... Insurance. You know, in case he tried to screw us over. Can't trust anyone, you know. Take that tracking device. The beeping will be faster the closer you are to the transmitter. And when you get back, we'll tune this tracking device so that you'll be able to find other things. Tolga, tell him. Everything that's chipped, Crane. And these days, a lot of things are chipped, aren't they? Military equipment, for example. But first, Mr. Dahl. Go for it, Crane. You can do it! We believe in you! You have to say things like that to people like him, you know.
Found Dahl's transmitter. Wait, Crane, is Mr. Dahl all right? It's hard to say. <laughs> he's dead. You lose, Vadim. I don't know if he's dead, guys. I just found his backpack. No sign of the man himself. Any ideas? We're geniuses. Of course we have ideas. We're prepared. Not that we didn't trust the man, but he has another transmitter in one of his shoes. Set the tracking device to your second channel, and move on with your investigation. You're not Vulcan Dahl. Was I supposed to be? Where did you get those boots? Hey, he didn't need them anymore. Lay off. Did you kill him? Where is he? Hey, he turned. I killed a monster, not a human. Shit. Where? Shot him straight through the head. No, you idiot. Where is his body? Oh, not far from here. Listen, I can pay you for these boots if they're so important to you. No problem. Just forget it. Guys, I found Dahl. Patine, Tolga, you there? Where'd you go? God damn it. 